Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. That's right, guys. Today on the show, we're taking a look at Back to the Future, the animated series. Like the Borean? Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. And as I said today on the show, we're taking a look at Back to the Future, the animated series. Originally, I had something else planned for this video. I was supposed to get in my pre-ordered edition of Back to the Future, the board game today. However, it was scheduled to be delivered today, but Amazon just messaged me this morning saying that it's now delayed. And they don't know when it's going to be delivered. So I canceled my order. Uh, I've got GameStop... Uh, keeping me appraised on it. Um, I'm no longer going to be doing pre-orders through Amazon. I'm going to either go through GameStop or I'm going to go through Funko itself because Amazon has just proven they are unreliable when it comes to pre-orders. When it comes to any orders for that matter. Uh, I've had nothing but problems with them lately uh, when it comes to orders. So with that being said, as I said, we're taking a look at Back to the Future, the complete animated series. As you'll see here, I have the DVD box set of the complete trilogy. I have the complete animated series as well as the Christmas special. Now, the Christmas special was actually included in the complete animated series as a regular episode for the series. I did not know that. Um, so I went ahead and purchased the Christmas special on its own. In addition to the complete animated series, and then found out once they were delivered <laughs> that now I have two copies of the Christmas special. So anyway, a little bit of information on Back to the Future, the animated series. It ran for a total of 26 episodes, two seasons, with 13 episodes each, uh, from September 14th, 1991 until December 26th, 1992. The theme song, Back in Time, from the film, was used as a theme song for the animated series. However, Huey Lewis and the News did not perform it. Instead, it would be performed by Alan Silvestri. Of the cast from the films, only two actually reprised their voice roles for the animated series. And that is Mary Steenburgen and Tom Wilson, who returned to provide the voices for their characters of Clara Clayton Brown and the various members of Biff Tannen's extended family. Uh, however, Christopher Lloyd did return for live-action segments uh, at the beginning and the end of the animated series, as well as um, occasionally during commercial bumpers. He would appear alongside uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Well, not really alongside, more in different, um, in different scenes. Uh, Christopher Lloyd would voice over the Bill Nye the Science Guy segments. Bill Nye appeared as Dr. Brown's lab assistant during the live-action segments that ended the show with a science experiment. Nye also served as the show's technical advisor, and this led to the development of the series Bill Nye the Science Guy. The animated series won four Daytime Emmy Awards for sound mixing and sound editing. There's also a Harvey Comics comic book series as a continuation of the animated series. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with Back to the Future, the animated series, it is kind of a continuation of the film series. Uh, it picks up shortly after the events of Back to the Future 3. It has uh, Marty McFly. It has Dr. Emmett Brown. It has Clara Clayton Brown. It has Biff Tannen. It has Jules. It has Vern. It has Einstein. And it has Jennifer, Marty's girlfriend. So far since I've got this, I've only watched a couple episodes. And it still holds up pretty well. Uh, the animation is okay. Yeah, yeah, Marticus. Marticus? <laughs> you look more like a Tuum de Gluteus Maximus. Oh, great. This thing's on the fritz. He said Tuum de Gluteus Maximus. I should have known. Upstart, you have humiliated me before the fine people of Rome. But it's nowhere near as bad as some animated series that have not stood the test of time. Uh, 
As some of you may know, I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. Uh, I collect DeLorean Time Machine uh, cars, Hot Wheels, uh, Hollywood Rides, Playmobil, stuff like that. Um, but they haven't really come out with very many uh, action figures based on the series. Uh, yeah, McDonald's had some things back in the day, but that's pretty much all that we got. Other than t-shirts, uh, you don't really we don't really get much in the way of action figures and toys, which I'm very disappointed in. The animated series would have been a great time to release action figures, even if they were done in the style of the animated series. That would have been better than nothing. They did try to get the voices pretty spot on uh, when it came to hiring voice actors for the animated series. Um, Doc Brown, the voice actor who plays Doc Brown, he is a little bit gruffer than Christopher Lloyd. Um, his voice sounds a little, a little harsher, I want to say. Uh, Marty sounds a little, he sounds pretty accurate. I mean, you could tell the difference between his voice actor and uh, Michael J. Fox, obviously. But he sounds pretty pretty close to the real Marty Mc... Well, not the real Marty McFly, but he sounds pretty close to Michael J. Fox. Uh, as you can see here on the front cover, uh, you have the logo, Back to the Future, the complete series, and you've got some scenes there from the uh, actual series itself. Now, on the back... You have the DeLorean time machine there. All 26 episodes on four discs. Uh, the adventures continue with Back to the Future, the complete animated series featuring all 26 episodes of the award-winning Saturday morning cartoon. Complete and uncut. Join Marty McFly and Doc Brown, Doc's wife Clara, sons Jules and Vern, and Dog Einstein for more hilarious adventures as they time travel to prehistoric Hill Valley, ancient Rome, medieval England, the Civil War, the Days of the Pirates, the Far Future, and beyond, featuring live-action segments with Christopher Lloyd as Doctor Br as Doc Brown, science experiments by Bill Nye the Science Guy, and the vocal talents of Mary Steenburgen as Clara and Thomas F. Wilson Biff, and Tan and Dan Castellaneta and Dan Castellaneta as Doc. It is a family entertainment at its best and a true treasure for all Back to the Future fans. Bonus features include Drawn to the Future, new interview with co-creator, executive producer Bob Gale and writer-producer John Luden on the making of the series, Back to the Future, the animated series revisited, a look back at the creation of the series, with the members of the original animation team, galleries, rare archival material, including pre-production art, promotional materials, and more. Storyboards, full storyboards for the entire Swing Low Sweet Chariot Race, a.k.a. Roman Holiday episode. So anyway, here we have the animation stills, this, some of the scenes in the uh, series. Uh, look at the artwork that is exactly how the uh, characters are portrayed in the series they haven't changed it at all for this image that is exactly how it come how they look you have the list of episodes on disc one and disc two there including the bonus feature of drawn to the future then the list of episodes for season two disc one and two uh, including the bonus features back to the future the animated series revisited and the galleries so as you can see, this is the complete series. You got season one and season two, two discs each. Take a look at each disc. You got Marty and Doc. Let me go ahead and spin that around a minute. There we go. You got Marty and Doc there, season one, disc one. Season one, disc two, you got Clara, you got Jules, and you got Vern. On Season 2, Disc 1, you've got Marty and Doc again. And on Season 2, Disc 2, you've got Einstein and you've got Biff Tannen. 
So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Christmas special. Uh, Back to the Future of the Animated Series, Dickens of a Christmas. And obviously, as you can see there, it's another interpretation of Charles Dickens' classic, A Christmas Carol. As you can see, Marty there, it portrays the ghost of Christmas future. Uh, I'm sure he also probably portrays the ghost of Christmas past and present as well. <laughs> um, given that there's a time machine involved, all things are possible. I have not watched it yet. I'm waiting until the Christmas season before I watch this particular episode. On the back here. All right, that's close enough. Holiday fun for the whole family. One of the most popular film series of all time rockets into animated action spanning time itself in the awesome cartoon adventure based on the spectacular Back to the Future movies. In Dickens of a Christmas, a quest for some instant Christmas spirit sends Marty and the Brown family back to Charles Dickens' Merry Old England. Before you can say figgy pudding, the Scroogeish Ebenezer, Ebifnezer Tannen kidnaps Claire and a young pickpocket swipes the keys to the time-traveling DeLorean. Now, only Marty's ghostly masquerade can save him and his friends from spending the rest of their lives in Christmas past. Bonus feature, a family vacation episode. Doc Brown packs the family into the DeLorean for a vacation to medieval England where Doc must win a joust with Lord Biffingham to save his wife and his life. So anyway, there's that. Uh, and then you've got the disc itself, which looks an awful lot like some of the different uh, discs for the Back to the Future movies. Um, of course, it does not look like the discs from this box set that I have here, which my wife purchased uh, before we ever got together. But the discs for this box set actually have the cover art from the films actually on the discs themselves. As you can see, there's the first one with Michael J. Fox. Then you've got the second one with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. And then the third one with Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Mary Steenburgen. And there's that. Overall, the animated series, as I said, it holds up pretty well. Uh, I was very impressed by how well it held up. And I was impressed with how closely... They managed to get the uh, voice actors to the original. And what's more is the fact that they managed to get Christopher Lloyd to portray Dr. Emmett Brown in uh, the introduction and at the ending of each episode, along with allowing Mary Steenburgen and Tom Wilson to reprise their roles as Clara Clayton Brown and Biff Tannen. Very impressive with that. Uh, I only wish they could have gotten Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd to actually voice Marty and Doc Brown. That would have been perfect. And I'm sure that wasn't really feasible considering uh, at the time uh, how much they would have probably uh, cost the production of uh, the series. However, one would think that Christopher Lloyd... It would have been more feasible to have him voice Doc Brown than to show up in the live action scenes. And maybe they could have used that extra money to uh, kind of provoke Michael J. Fox to come in and voice Marty McFly as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I wish I would have been able to do a video on the Back to the Future board game from Funko. But of course... Amazon screwed the pooch on that one. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. I've been Shannon. This has been Comic Ed and TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides.
Take care, geeks. Well, as they say in ancient Rome, in futurist day with Abel, or as they say in modern Rome, Hariv Fadeche. Or as I say, see you at the future. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.